So we're calling the meeting to order at- I'm um, calling this meeting to order. At 4.43 p.m. <laughs> on Monday, November 23rd. We are streaming live and this is public. The public are allowed to comment at the beginning of the meeting if it relates to the agenda. As it seems, we don't have any from the public here. So no need for any comments from the public. Um, and that's it. Carry on, Casey. Beautiful, thank you. Um, so I'm gonna be recapping our subcommittee missions and goals. Uh, I hope we can discuss and assign roles to everyone for this meeting um, that we can take into the future with us and hopefully schedule a regularly attended subcommittee meetings for the future as well. So let me just pull up this document real quick. If you want, I can share the agenda. I have it up. Oh, um, yeah, that would be great. Thank you. I just need it to thank you. Oh, yeah. Audrey, we see all your files. So I don't oh. see the agenda. You see too many files. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just like lots of in uh, inventory of images, which was fun. That's weird. Okay. How about now? It does make me wish my name was Julia. Perfect. <laughs> That's it. Okay. That's what's weird about Zoom. Can't okay. Really um, so subcommittee missions and goals as the PR subcommittee, um, this is something Tamar and I had talked about, but if you have things you want to amend or add to our goals, I would say speak up for sure. Um, I'm just still looking for my notes because I am the most organized. So as a PR subcommittee, it is our responsibility to promote and increase awareness of the work the LCC does within the community um, and the work that those that we're funding do within the community. Um, we are supposed to be maintaining press and media relations, submit notices to local newspapers, radio and television for the announcing grant cycles. Um, which I believe we've had, can you guys correct me if I'm wrong? Have we already announced the extension? We have on FATV. Okay. And we have, we are working on the radio at this point. Okay. Beautiful. Have we sent out that press release that um, you wrote, Tamar? I put that on Casey's task list. So okay. I wanted to check with you, Casey, on that so one. No, I'm happy we have help. not. <laughs> Okay. okay. I'm happy. Right. Yes. Um, I, I'm happy to send it because uh, I have a healthy database of local news outlets. So I'm happy to send that out. I think the verbiage was already Excellent. shared in earlier stuff, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We and do what have is the, the new deadline now for a document? What is the new deadline for December 14th? 14th, okay. And it's in the press release that it's, okay. in, that, it's in that document. Okay, I will take care of sending that out. All right, thank you. Um, and on that note, actually, Matt, I was hoping that uh, me, you, Tamar, and Claudia could um, at some point combine resources because I know the three of you at least have running lists of contacts. And I was hoping we could make some sort of database sure. um, yes. for the FCC to use moving forward. Yes. Beautiful. That makes a lot of sense. Um, so let's see, where was I? Did you want us to like recap what the social media committee has been doing so that we yeah. can figure out how to combine? That would be wonderful, actually. Yes, Tim. Before we do that, I wanted to just ask Audrey if you were able to get in touch with the radio because there's a new person at the radio now. I got their email address, which I sent to you guys, but I have not reached out to them myself yet. Okay. Okay. So we'll have to assign someone to email them. Okay. You want me to just do that? I didn't know you had- Whichever. 
I can do it if you want, um, but. Because I'd like us to do like we did before in tag team, we can do go on the radio. I can do it myself or you could come with me or it's usually early in the morning, but I'm happy to do it. Um, okay, uh, yeah, uh, that sounds good. Um, yeah, uh, I can email uh, Sherman and um, say that either both of us will be on there or just you, because um, I'm not, it might be easier for them if it's just one person. Okay. And I'd rather it was you than me. <laughs> okay. If you just want to book me, feel free to book me. Okay. Because it's usually 7.15. I don't usually have anything at 7.15 a.m. So pretty much any day, if you just want to tell them I'm bu book me, any time is fine. Okay. What is the um, name of the person that's at the radio, radio station? Sherman Oaks. We usually, um, my contact is Travis, but Travis um, has left WPKZ, um, unfortunately, but now he's working for the Chamber of Commerce, so. Uh, okay. <laughs> I think it's Sherman Whitman, though, isn't it, Audrey? Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, Sherman Whitman. I think one time I looked up the name and, like, Oaks came up for some reason, and that just, like, stuck in my head. Um, I think Sherman yeah. Oaks is in California, I think. Yep. Yes. yes. Maybe it's a place. Maybe it was his stage name. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Who knows? But yes. You could say maybe it's stage name. <laughs> um, Tamar, I'll send that through our FCC email, so uh, you'll also be able to see it. But okay, thank you. Yeah. All right. So, what have you guys been doing as the social media subcommittee? So um, I've made uh, a folder in the drive um, for different images that we can use, um, our logos, um, and um, created like an infographic um, template as well. Um, I recently took all the LCC guidelines and turned that into a photo album um, because whenever people ask like, does my project, you know, would that be eligible? Uh, we can just send them to that photo album, um, which just kind of highlights uh, quotes from the LCC guidelines that can help them answer nice. that question. Um, it also has our current council priorities on there. Um, what and we else? were taking apart, normally the Massachusetts Cultural Council sends out emails with, you know, up-to-date blog posts and podcasts and all that information. So I was taking those emails and taking, tearing them apart and turning them into posts basically so that we had scheduled posts on a regular basis with things that are related to the state level. Um, and then of course, obviously we put all of our meetings up there, which I'm happy to keep doing um, as well. Certainly there's a lot more we could do with social media. We've just tr been trying to, I think Audrey does, uh, has been doing an awesome job letting everybody know any new dates or anything. And I've been just trying to keep content up there, but it's mm -hmm. an ongoing animal, as you know. So yes. that's why I thought it could be, um, it would be interesting since also the community wants the help with PR, if we encourage them to submit their PR to us and we can help them by reciprocating and delivering it to the public. Okay. So I have a yeah, few questions for they you. Just tag us. Especially if they tag us, we can just share it. Yeah. It's a, so, okay. So my first question starting out for you <laughs> is how far out, um, you said you've scheduled posts. How far out have you scheduled posts for at this point? Yeah, um, it's, not, it's not scheduled out at the moment. Like it was probably, I don't know when the last post was, but I do, we usually would do like a week's worth of post or two weeks. When I ser first started this with, um, Emanuela, the goal was a month out. Mm. Okay. Yeah, she just started a, um, like a, a third social. party. Hmm? Um, do, you, do you schedule those using Facebook and Instagram or do you use like a third party like Hootsuite? No, Facebook. I use, yeah, I just use Facebook's Creative Studio, which um, can post Instagram and Facebook and schedule them um, at the same time. Okay. 
Oh, and, and then we, also... uh, I think some of us uh, downloaded an app um, to share Instagram posts. Do you remember what it was called? It's called Repost. Okay, cool. Yep, that's what I used to. I think I've only done it once because I only noticed like uh, there, there are two posts that um, we were tagged in and I posted one of them, but then was going to post the other one later, but hadn't done that yet. <laughs> All right. I, I mean, I posted, I shared the most recent one, so I figured that was better. Yeah. <laughs> the same person. So I was like, oh. <laughs> All right. So my next question is, how do we want to encourage the public to reach out to us for PR? Um, the issues I could see with this would be uh, if they're looking for help with social media PR, then maybe reaching out to them on, on social media isn't the best course of action. Um, so if we, what, what do you guys think? I think it would be helpful to have a secondary email account and that people we could just constantly remind people through social media and also when we send out correspondence to people we could especially during the during and after the grant cycle we could actually send them you know in the correspondence through email a note that says we're happy to support you know obviously once they get funded we're happy to continue to support what you're doing please let us know what you're doing. You know, if you get any press of your own, if you have links to share, if you have a online website or store that we can share, please send it to X email and we will share. And so I thought that would be a, you know, for example, like the museum, obviously the museum has press releases that go out. So those could be sent to this email, but it's the, it's the organization or the individual's responsibility to get it to us. So that we don't have to go out looking for it because we're volunteers. So it can come to mm -hmm. us and then we can share it. So if it was a proper press release, you know, if they're sending it out, then potentially Matt could help as well. And it mm -hmm. comes from both the council and that organization because then they'll understand that somehow the council is connected. Maybe it was funded that way. So I think it would be great to have like a, a specific place and a specific person that checks another email account maybe or inbox and then takes that information and then disseminates it to whoever. So if it's for TV and radio, like if we have a monthly meeting or however often, um, I'm happy to take TV and radio and just that would be my job. So this month's news is X, Y, and Z. And then it would go to Matt for the PR piece maybe, just a suggestion. Mm -hmm. So are we talking just uh, promoting projects that we would have uh, reviewed and funded or or any artists who want to promote artistic things? That's a question. That's a good question. The, I, um, during the community input meeting, we asked about that and people thought it would be great if um, the Cultural Council could be a hub of all cultural things happening in Fitchburg, which I was like, Okay, we'll try. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that's definitely a tall order to fill. Um, but I don't think it makes sense to limit our output to just the projects that we're already funding. I think we should certainly highlight if they are a FCC funded um, project. Mm -hmm. So I guess the question yeah. will be, how do we, yeah, and that'll uh, help. how do we fence in what does get, what would trigger our our PR apparatus, you know, that's the only thing I want to say. Anything that we, we should be mindful of is, you know, just for it. Okay. I, well, I was, was thinking, thinking um, oh, sorry. I was just going to say, I was, um, if we're going to have people email us um, content, I think maybe if we create a Google form um, so that that makes the process so much easier, that way we don't have to parse through their newsletter and try to figure out what's important and then like create like an image for them and stuff. Um, right. Yeah. Well, like what I do at the university is uh, we have a, a form and it basically, uh, it helps the person requesting publicity just go through the thought process of, you know, 
who, what, where, when, why is this of public interest? Does it cost anything? Where would it be? You know, it's, um, you folks have all done these kind of things. So you've gone through that, but for uh, folks who haven't, it's just a good sort of checklist thing. Yeah, well, so. I think the form is a great idea. And I was thinking this is actually doing this is gonna teach everyone. Like it's gonna mm -hmm. be very educational for them to learn. Okay, mm -hmm. you can't just blast us with some text and a picture. We actually need a certain start. Like it'll teach like some artists in the community if they have something to promote and they don't know how to do a press release, this will kind of teach them how to get organized. Right. Because I, I think it's it's not fair to put the council in the situation where, like Audrey said, we have to find everything. Like that's, I think it would be better to teach our community how to interact with us in the most organized way and for them to be organized, yeah. right. which helps them at a that's bigger great. level too. Right. That's great. Right. And in turn, right, they'll be better advocates for their own work and, you know, maybe exactly. a love of art and expression got them into this, but uh, to be a working artist, you have to have some marketing skills too. So this might help develop those muscles. All right, so I'm happy to, um, I will find my form that I use and uh, maybe we can adapt it to something that we could consider pushing out there as well. That'd be great. All right, that'd be great. Thank you. Um, do we want to make a marketing calendar separate from our social media marketing calendar or all as like one big thing? My vote is one, All right. one thing. So excellent. So, okay. Um, on that note, I guess anyone who has experience uh, with like calendar apps or anything sort of like Google Calendar, what do you guys think would be the best way to go about doing that? I think we could use Google Calendar. I mean, because we're all in the drive, the drive has a calendar. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and we can just use the FCC calendar that we already have. Um, for you're talking about like uh, a calendar that says, "I'm going to post this," and right? Is that what you're talking yeah. about? Yeah. Although, didn't you say? Yeah. Did you say Manuel already set one of those up? She did, but it was just a it was just a Google Doc, or actually, it wasn't even a Google Doc. Um, I don't think. Might have been a Word Doc. Because yeah, when I started, that's what I suggested. You can do a just in word by the month yeah. you can schedule, you know, create posts that are going to be scheduled. Yeah. That's for just from the so right. social media perspective. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, I can create through FCC, I can create another secret calendar that only a six can um, access and add um, events of like each post that we're putting on there. And that way we can see it all. All right. Does that sound good? Is that what we're looking for? Sounds good um, to me. I think I'm yeah. on the learning curve with all of it. <laughs> Claudia, maybe we should put you on the radio. I think a few of us are. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a go God or a no? Oh, radio. <laughs> Claudia, we want to we want to find a way yeah. to put you to work. Well, well, OK. Um, I would I would agree with the radio as opposed to FATV. All right, you know, maybe, baby, baby step. Okay, okay, so maybe for the next one you can just tune in. Okay. And then we can maybe get you to do it after that. That can be your pet your pet project. Uh, project. Well, that's a nice pet project. I will. <laughs> I will hire an elocution teacher right after this so that I have all of my, <laughs> my syllables um, correctly pronounced in any words that come out of my mouth. How's that? <laughs> you were a teacher though, right? I think you were a teacher, right? You'll be perfect. Oh, yes, yes. You'll be perfect. I, well, okay, we'll go with that. I mean, <laughs> I've been out for 15 years, so. Um, That's a long time though. So it's still in your, it's still in your blood. It is, it is. 
Oh, by the way, speaking of uh, Google calendars, um, there, um, I was considering uh, adding another layer to our calendars with um, cultural events um, on here, but uh, so that, but like that would be involved with the form. Um, so people could say exactly like, you know, date, time, um, costs and stuff like that. Uh, right now where people can view our calendar is either by that specific link, but now um, that we have it on our website, that's probably just like a better place to send people. Um, but that's not linked to Facebook. So we would have to do that separately. Um, and then on our group, um, if people post a link to a Facebook event and they see like the preview show up, um, it gets added to the group's Facebook events like um, automatically. So we've also been trying to encourage people um, to post on there. And it's kind of been a thing where I have to kind of remind myself to, if I create an event in our Facebook page to also post the link, like share it in our group. Um, but fortunately our group does allow us to schedule posts. So <laughs> that's helpful. <laughs> If we encourage people to name the cultural council as a co-host when they create a Facebook event, doesn't that also kind of cross promote too? It if, does, yeah. but it'll, um, it does. I mean, a post doesn't automatically show up, right. um, but it lets people know that there's an event happening yeah. um, from our Facebook page, but not from our Facebook group. And the good thing about the Facebook group is that um, people who are not from the cultural council can post their events on there and it shows up. So they can do some of the work for us. <laughs> yeah, that's what we need to do is just, I think, actively educate everybody to help us, you know, help us help yeah. us kind of. And I, I do th think, yeah, I do think that if we have um, uh, funded them, we should probably encourage them to make us co-hosts. Although we won't be able to answer any questions that people ask. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering if the, the co-host thing is necessary where we don't want to explicitly be like in charge of events that we're funding on Facebook. Well, we just use it at the meet, like, well, I'm not doing it right now, but like when we host events, just because it also, it, it somehow our audience, it allows the... Although they just changed Expand everything, the but um, there's something about the algorithm and how it will expose the event more to our followers than just the artist followers or the, I will look at, I know they just redid everything with events in the last three months. So that might be different. So I could look into that some more. Yeah. Is that Facebook that you're talking yeah, about? Face, right Facebook yeah. Facebook just retooled their whole event platform. Yeah, of course. If you... <laughs> well... Yeah, they're constantly changing things. It's really frustrating. Well, what else would they be doing? Right. Um, <laughs> if you could look into that, that would be amazing, yeah. Jesse. Yeah. And as an update for um, everyone else the, in this committee, uh, currently Tamar and I are the Facebook admins, um, but we are tr <laughs> we've tried to make Jesse an admin, and we are trying to make Casey an admin, and for some reason it is not letting us do that. So we're trying to figure that out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why, uh, why is that? Why is we don't we know? No idea. <laughs> Casey and I. Do you uh, <laughs> trying uh, another thing um, <laughs> to see if it'll no, work. If, I'm not really sure why. Has there ever been an ad purchased um, through this page? Um, I know last year, a year or two ago, um, I had volunteered to create an ad, but then like I never got, like I never, like Facebook never billed me for it. So I maybe okay. I didn't do it correctly or I don't know. So it's probably going to, yeah, I was just going to say, once you have money connected to your Facebook account, there is a secret backdoor to direct customer service. Um, but it has to, I, I, the only way I got, I had, I had to migrate through a fiasco of admin privileges. Um, and it was, it was just because I had a credit card attached 
to my account and I was able to go through that window to find a real life person. Otherwise it's just like stonewall upon stonewall. But um, if I can remember that path, <laughs> just because th that it literally took, I had to like sign a letter and, but it literally took all of 30 seconds once they got my letter. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that would be amazing. Yeah. Does that, um, like in order to talk to them about it, do we have to have a credit card attached to, like, we have to have an ad created through um, the Fitchburg Cultural Council page, or can it be any pages that we run and we're an admin on it? Maybe. I just know it's, like, it's a fortress to find a person at Facebook, yeah. and then right. after, it took me literally six weeks to find this, like, pinhole <laughs> through which to get through, <laughs> and it was just because I had a credit, I, I had given them money. Otherwise, yeah, it's just, Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've done ads through Curious, um, through okay. our Curious page. So I would think that it would let me do it because I'm an admin on both. Yeah. So let me, um, I just it, ran I, an ad. I did it like, um, 18 months ago. So I'd have to go back, do my back steps, but I will, if I can find that, I will <laughs> let you know. So yeah. Go on a journey. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. Yeah. All right. Um, so sticking with social media for another minute, does anyone know anything about Snapchat? All oh, right. You're too old. I am... <laughs> you're never you. too old. I it there. I'm, I'm right yeah. here. I tried it. I hated it. I got yeah, out of I it. I tried it like about like five, 10 years ago. And I was <laughs> already, I was already confused. And I was like, my friend would like tag me in stories and I thought I was supposed to respond to her, but they seemed pretty general <laughs> and she never responded back to me. I don't know. All right. Um, TikTok. Do you guys, anyone here know anything about TikTok? It's Chinese spam. Did I just say that publicly? It's not spam. It seems like it's gotten much it's more popular. Fun dancing. Yeah, uh, I, I am. And it's, I what Casey <laughs> it is filling a void <laughs> I left I have, I have recently thought about getting a uh, TikTok but well I was in a training at a, a gallery art gallery that's in Boston it was a score training you guys familiar with score so it was on marketing yes. from the gal art gallery perspective and the woman who spoke actually called TikTok malware malware oh. and really I, I believe that i would yeah. believe that and she said don't use it that's but that's you know that's boston that's an art gallery when, and when was that? that uh probably august maybe yeah. okay, oh. so yeah because i just went to i went to a um it was in london well <laughs> it was here but i went to a british um virtual event conference last week and and like the Royal Opera, it was like big museums and the Royal Opera House and theaters, and they were all advocating for TikTok. But it was a lot of perform performance venues because like you can do virtual exhibits through different platforms, but for performance venues, they found TikTok to be very um, useful. I don't know anything about it. And mm -hmm. until I heard this, I was on that, like, oh, this is... <laughs> Who wants TikTok? But then when I heard the Royal Opera TikTok House, is great, guys. <laughs> like, yeah. But um, okay. that's interesting. Yeah. But you it's gotta talk to it. You got to go find a ninth grade kid because, like, the BTS um, is on TikTok a lot. They, the kids of that age seem to be following that. Casey, so, so there's a lot of talking. grassroots organizing happening through it too. Um, yeah. So it it's it's I, it, but I think when we're thinking of social media platforms, who are we trying to reach? Are we trying to reach teenagers, or are we trying to reach people who use other platforms like Instagram? Right. And Facebook? Right. Right. 
Are you saying like older people or like <laughs> you're like yeah, you're like, to, like put on like an age range or something like that? Well, I mean, well, just, no, that's a that's a great thing to bring up. I no, mean, no, it's it's about our demographic reach. Yeah. Like, if we are utilizing uh, newspapers and brochures in person and Facebook and Instagram, then like outside of Instagram, really, how are we reaching anyone under the age of like 22? And like, is that important? I personally think that's important, but that's a decision we all need to make. Um, because, you know, these are people who can be supporting the arts. These are people who benefit from the arts. These are people who greatly benefit from the arts, especially where with our um, community feedback, a lot of yep. it was directed at uh, the youth, right? Mm -hmm. The youth. Uh, teenagers still use YouTube a lot. Do we have a YouTube channel? I mean, do we have content for a YouTube channel? We definitely have content because what we're streaming right now, we could also be streaming on YouTube like our meetings. Okay. I don't know if that's exciting. I don't know if that's something that. <laughs> well, we have the Gmail account. So you have, that means we have a YouTube account. We can set oh, it up very, very mm -hmm. easily. It's all within the same platform. And yeah, then yeah. it's just asking FATV if they allow us to, you know, have this file or not that Nate would want to, but Nate could upload it for us as well because he's mm. got the video file. But then that makes the, that's the question then, you know, we can share other people's projects in YouTube. Certainly that's a possible, we could set our own like playlist, quote unquote playlist, where they're that's not true. our videos, but they're videos that we like. Um, that's definitely a possibility. I mean, mm -hmm. but anyone with a Gmail can have a, can have a YouTube. That's so we true. could have playlists that are community playlists where we share other people's stuff that's connected to us. But. A lot of organizations like the museum, but theaters and, and perf that's what performance venues are doing right now. They're turning to video and YouTube. So that just mm. might be a way to amplify some of that virtual content until things open up again. And if we take a spot yeah. on FATV as we had discussed doing, that's something that could be content as well. We could technically host people and interview or whatever, you know, we could talk about doing that as a, on a regular, on the regular, which would, which nice. would fill out. It would also, once you have a video up there, it's content you can share and reshare on the other platforms. So. Casey. So, um, yes. Does TikTok and Snapchat, do they have a news feed? Like how would people, cause I know when I was using this, Snapchat, it was just whoever you're friends with. So it would be kind of like a bubble. Um, yeah, um, I believe that's still how Snapchat works. Uh, TikTok, I believe does sort of like an instant play deal. Um, I'm not sure how much of that you can control as the viewer. Um, definitely look into that. So I can look into all of these things, but I did want to ask you guys like as a whole, what are your opinions on pursuing things like YouTube, Snapchat, and TikTok for PR purposes? You know, do we, do we want to pursue these and think about them more as options? Or do we want to leave that for like the people that we service and who like come to the things that we help put on? YouTube is an easy one because we already mm -hmm. have the account and we have files from FATV we're creating on the regular doing all these meetings. So if we get into FATV deeper, I think, did we vote on that? We voted on getting an FATV account? Um, we didn't actually talk about that at the meeting. So we need to do that. But once we do that, then we yeah. have a platform where we could potentially be Zooming on a regular basis and start offering that to the public. They could come on and we could interview them or talk to them about their projects or, so that's something that would be with, in conjunction with YouTube easy to tackle quickly. Definitely. Okay. Um, I, I think like, you know, uh, TikTok, Snapchat, like th those could potentially be really good. I just kind of worry about, um, well, like in my opinion, like Facebook is great because it's very like localized um, in terms of like, you, like you're looking up stuff that are in your area versus um, some other platforms. It's, you know, it's all over the place. Um, on that note, we're also not on Twitter right now. 
Um, I'm really bad at Twitter, so um, I'm not the person to. <laughs> I'm also just playing to my strengths. Um, uh, Facebook, most comfortable with. Instagram, meh, somewhat. And I'll like reshare the, <laughs> uh, the Facebook posts I create, but that's about it. <laughs> Um, I think a Twitter is an insanely good idea. Um, well, from a PR perspective, it's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I can jump on making us a Twitter account. Just make sure it's connected to the Gmail, our Gmail. Yes. Casey, do you want access to our Gmail account? Want me to send you the passwords? I already have them, but thank you. Excellent. Claudia, I want to talk to you about uh, being our like ground person. Switching gears real quick, guys. Um, would you be interested in being our our person on the ground, our person who goes to city halls or has connections to schools? Yeah. Um, yes. Or I libraries. Would. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Um, that would be great. Our Old face. Friday. Yes. <laughs> the face of some, the FCC. Some of you might not know that term, but. <laughs> what was the term? Girl Friday. No. <laughs> the uh, Carrie Grant movie. Yeah, that's what I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What, His Girl Friday. What did you say? The, so, uh, the movie His Girl Friday. Oh. Well, that's my girl, reference for it. <laughs> well, Girl Friday was um, like a courier for offices. <laughs> that's very <Perfect>. cool. <laughs> oh, yes. Beautiful. So, Casey, when would you like us All to right. meet? When would I like us to meet? I would like us to meet on Mondays. <laughs> um, well, Mondays at this does time this, works for this, me. Yeah, that was going to be my question. Does this time work for everyone uh, consistently? Sure. Most of the time. Yes. Beautiful. Like and <laughs> <laughs> my schedule is so weird for the next three months. Sure. <laughs> Is there a day that is most consistently not weird for you? Monday is fine. It's just the time of day is, it's, but I'll, it'll work. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, it, will we do it like the fourth or fourth Monday of every, or do we, are we doing it once a month or more fourth? frequently than once a month? Um, I think once a month is good. Uh, Tamar, Audrey, what do you guys think? Yeah, um, I will note that um, I took an open meeting training and discussing things like, oh, how does this look for my post is apparently supposed to be an open meeting. Um, so that's really good to know. In terms of like social media, um, that could get sticky it kind of made me feel like well I guess then you just post it like if you have an idea just go for it and then like <laughs> um which seems really sticky for me because I'm like well what if you had a typo or what if like you said something wrong then like someone says to you later uh you should fix so that. something <laughs> so a great thing <laughs> something we could do is sorry Tamar you go no, I was just going to say, so a great thing for us to do would be now is the end of November. If we met this same time roughly in December, at that point, we would know, at that point, we'll be done with our grant cycle and we'll be in the thick of getting that all out the door. So by, it would give us like, it would give us time now between now and next month to prepare rough drafts of social media, FETV, radio, press releases that are roughed in that could then go out as soon as we've met at our official meetings to determine the grantees. 
Mm -hmm. So you just see what I'm saying? So if we if we're backing things out, so our next meeting is right after the cycle closes and then we all have to determine who gets what. And then if things are sort of like roughed in and we have an open meeting like this, we can like be prepared for as soon as we decide who gets all the grants mm -hmm. right. can kind of go out. And then we've already determined that publicly in front of everyone. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. So everything's not like finite, like set in stone in terms of names, but it's roughed in so that we don't go, we don't, so that we're inside the structure, Audrey, that you're talking about. Yep. Um, do you guys want something that we do every month that we meet to be uh, finalizing or like approving everything that's being sent out for PR? Is it something we could get drafts of beforehand so that we can just vote up, well, approve it at the meeting and that way we're not reading it for through the meeting? Yeah, that's yeah, a good that idea. Makes sense. Yeah, we can um, we can send out documents that we will discuss, but we cannot express any opinions. That would be considered uh, deliberation, <laughs> and del deliberation must occur during our open meetings. And we'll have to think of that as we uh, construct these uh, deliverables for uh, the artists to about you know timing and. All that too, especially because I think the timing is good to have this nailed down soon after the grant cycle and so that, you know, theoretically the first grant funded projects could be happening. Um, not a huge amount of time after that, but, you know, just to make sure we have a procedure in place or a protocol at least about, you know, you need to give us two weeks notice or a few weeks notice kind of thing. Because if we get a request for something if there's an event on Friday and we hear about it on Thursday and they'd like us to use our, our uh, activate the machine, if you will, of, of all this, of this promotion uh, we can do, you know, how's that going to work? We have to figure that out. Mm. Just being mindful of everyone's bandwidth too. Yep. Yeah. 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 I think it's going to be training everybody. Like, you know, a lot of other organizations have deadlines. So there's a deadline like Gala and Gardner, the Winchenden area, they have the 23rd of the month as a deadline. The Fitchburg Cultural Alliance has the first and the 15th. Like, so I think they've got the 23rd as a deadline roughly around that time too. Although yeah, she that sounds like that's going to be our like deadline also. Yeah. So we're all meeting, you know, every month as a group, our formal meeting is the 15th. So if we needed to vote any, or not the 15th, the third um, Tuesday. So if anything needed to be voted on, we would need it, need the public to have it like into our little group and then in time for that group meeting. Right. So, I mean, if we set like the first of the month, so like January 1st, people have for the month of January, they need to get it to us at the first of the month. We could set that as a, you know, scheduled time period, you know, deadline. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? So I was just thinking if it was the first of the month, for example, so the public had the, till the first, so each first of every month is their cycle. And then that gives mm -hmm. us time to, if we need to discuss anything and vote on anything, we'd have a couple weeks, you know, to get it on our agenda and get it passed through everybody. And then maybe we could meet um, the first Monday of every month. Mm -hmm. That works. All right. So you want to do the first and the fourth Monday or just the first Monday? So the first, I was just suggesting the first day of the month would be the public's deadline. So you okay. have an event say on the, you know, 18th of January, we need to know on the first so we can help with promotion, but also if it's anything we need to discuss or vote on, we also have time. Okay. All right. Um, that's so wait, about everything. Wait, so when are we meeting then? <laughs> if, if the public's deadline for um, uh, events they want promoted is the first of the month, when are we, are we meeting the first Monday of the month or are we, yes, okay. Yeah. 
So in theory, depending on what day the first is of the month, we'd have a couple of days to pull stuff together and circulate it. And then when we meet, we can determine how to proceed with December everything. December 1st, seven. <laughs> is a Friday. So the public would I have think. to, any like submissions that they want um, us to post about would be by December 1st, but that would mean our next meeting is December 7th. Yes. Does that sound good for everyone? Yeah, if it makes sense. Yeah. Sounds good. I'll put it in the calendar. Thank you, Audrey. Of course. Um, I think that about wraps up our agenda. Does anyone else want to throw sticks in? What do you want us to do until uh, the summit? Like, sort of like Nothing. homework? No. Zero things. No. Um, <laughs> No, I want Jesse to look into Facebook event changes. Uh, Audrey, I want you to continue looking into how to add people on Facebook. Um, Matt, I believe you said you could do the press release. I'll do the press release and I'll work on a uh, template for like a request for publicity that we can give to artists who are requesting Beautiful. our services. Excellent. Claudia, you are to tune into, uh, I'm going to call it TMZ, but that's not right. The radio station? KPZ. <laughs> KPZ. <laughs> um, and what date and time was that again, Tamar? Oh, I don't have one. I have to hustle and get one. Oh, when you get one, send us an email or, or contact Claudia somehow, please. Okay. So she Wait, can but am, I, am I emailing or are you emailing Tamar? Go for it. Okay. Go Although it is email. easier if you email it because you know your own schedule. No, it's set literally at 7.15 a.m. So it doesn't matter what day. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Um, I have to jump to another meeting. So bye, Jesse. Are we, are we good? <laughs> okay. Bye, Jesse. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. We're good. Thank Enjoy you so much your for vacation. Coming. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Vacation. People get vacations this year. <laughs> <laughs> it's a staycation, I think. Still. <laughs> um, and that's everything I had down. That's everything I have down. Um, in terms of post wise, just keep doing what we're currently doing. So Please. Far. Yes. Um, as we're formulating plans. Yeah, yeah. Um, I want to take a look at the calendar that is set up already. And maybe we could talk about, we could get a calendar organized for the December meeting to review with everybody, maybe. Yes. And I would like to know, seeing how I'm courier, um, I'll have to be going over to City Hall by a certain date. So I want to know those dates put on my calendar so I get there on the right yes. date. Um, I imagine that's something that we would be talking about when we finalize PR on our meetings uh, the first Monday of the month. Okay. So unless there's something that needs to go to City Hall in the next week, two weeks, what day of the month is it? I don't even know anymore. Two weeks. Do we have anything that needs to go to City Hall in the next two weeks? Well, the press release needs to go there. So everybody knows the deadline. That's right. And that's kind of like can be emailed to people, but I don't know if we want to be old school and have Claudia print out five or six that go to, you know, the mayor's office and the clerk's office and the. Claudia's uh, home printer does not coincide with Claudia's screen. <laughs> <laughs> so if I can drop off uh, copies of the press release to you, um, it's only Monday, right? If I can drop off copies of the press release to you by Wednesday, would you be able to take those to City Hall? Absolutely. I know where that Beautiful. I know I know where City Hall is. Um, <laughs> Uh, I'm being facetious, but, uh, you know, 
it's it really, be- I can't believe, I mean, my kids are our kids. Um, but I've got a, a nice big frame computer and a nice printer and we have not been able to sync the two. Ugh, so frustrating. Yes. Oh, I know. Tell Print- me. Printers are so frustrating. It's not just you. <laughs> I know okay. who you can contact. Oh, okay. Mr. Joe Bowen could assist you. Yep. Oh, I believe that. I believe that. Yeah, he could help with that. Keep in mind if um if we print out anything from like uh staples or or somewhere like keep the receipt and we could probably get that you know refunded via our admin um we have a staples account i don't think so but i'm just saying we have administrative funds that you know we'd have to vote on how they're spent but okay well just tell me where i should deliver anything um and i will do that this is ours i get the dates all right okay yeah cool um i so i'm our goal is to make everyone here a admin right on facebook so that everyone can post does everyone want to be an admin on facebook okay sure okay all right that sounds good i might have to friend you all um beware i terrible I write po- political posts. So. <laughs> we're scared. We're scared. <laughs> That's why I feel whenever like someone random decides to friend me, I'm like, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> I think we accept you the way you are. Why, thank you. <laughs> Not everyone knows what they're getting themselves into though. <laughs> Thank right. you. Does anyone else have anything to add? Ooh. Not today. Oh. All right. Um, what is that? What's the what's the correct process for this? I adjourn this meeting. Oh, to, do we need a vote to adjourn? We can just adjourn, right? Yeah, we don't need a vote. Yeah. I-